everybody, it's Lex from PDQ.com. I am going to take you through another great inventory scanner that is not native with uh, PDQ inventory, but I'm going to show you how to build it. It's very popular. It's finding out all the user profiles on all of your EndNotes. So again, to build a, a new inventory scanner, you go to Options, Scan Profiles. We're going to go New. And we're going to name this User Profiles. And I probably should put a space in there, maybe. Eh, okay, we'll keep it uniform. Now, to get user profiles, a couple ways you can go about it. I'm going to do it the WMI scanner way because it's the way I like. So I'm going to go add a WMI scanner. Again, the scanner name is going to basically build. It's where you're going to go look for the data. So it's kind of like a table name. So we're going to call this uh, user, and I'm going to not put a space in this one because I don't want to. User profiles. I'm going to launch the WMI Explorer because I am not tip top at writing these things from memory or by hand. So for this one, we're going to connect. And uh, I do happen to know this exists under uh, root sim v2. Now, if I double click on this, we should get all this data should populate in here. And oh, there it is, enumerating classes. It's pretty full. Uh, the great thing with this is there is a good quick filter search here. So we're just gonna look up the word profile. Oh, there we go, user profile, network login profile. Couple of different ones we can run there. Uh, I'm gonna select the user profile because it seems logically that that's where it's gonna be. Now, once again, if you've watched any of these other videos, I like to run them right here to see how long it takes and to see if they return data. So I'm going to hit execute on this. It ran pretty quick, which is good. And I'm looking at the data here. There's contact data, desktop, user. Uh, boy, is there anything in here that's really going to help me out? And there, right there, local path. Now, I don't want to fill up my database with a bunch of stuff I don't care to look at. So local path, I'm actually going to go up here and alter this query and just put in local path. I, okay, uh, case sensitive, sensitivity doesn't matter. I'm just going to execute this right here now because I altered the query. There it is, local path. So at this point, I know the namespace, it's root simv2. Important to know that. I'm gonna copy my new modified query from up here. Control C. We're gonna go back here, paste the query in, verify our namespace is correct, root simv2. We should be good. Give it an okay. We're gonna give it an O. Oh, again here, uh, I just wanna point out, if you want this to run on a regular basis, set up a trigger, run it once a week, once a month or scan age, it hasn't been run for seven or eight days. You can set that up here. I've got videos on how to do that if you want. I'm just gonna save this. There it is, user profiles. Let's go run this on all these machines. So I'm going to right click, scan collection, kick off my user profile scan, kick those scans off. They were fast, They ran, it ran fast on the one machine. So the only overhead once again, connecting, running it and returning the data. So should be we should start seeing data coming back pretty well right there you go, pretty quick. So let's just uh, go take a look at, uh, we'll double click on Beth and we'll go find our new, well, we're already at WMI, which is right down here. Ah, oh, we have the applied GPO table, which is one we've written before. And there's our user profile table. I select that. Here's my user profile information. There it is, local path, check that out. Those are all the profiles that are on that machine. You know what, to be honest with you, I need to find out how many machines have Tony Blurp on there because Tony, Blurp, I don't know who Tony Blurp is. So again, you can easily go and build a new dynamic collection off the data you just uh, created. So we'll go and select from, we'll go to WMI user profiles, local path contains Tony with an I. We'll call this the uh, Tony with an I dynamic collection. We'll give that an okay. We'll find out how many machines Tony Blurp is actually logged into or has a profile on at this point. So there we go. It's updating. There's 10 machines. We'll just take a quick look at Noob Noob to verify that we're actually getting the data we need. User profile, Tony Blurp, there it is. So there you go. That's how you can find all the user profiles on all, all your end nodes by using an inventory scanner. It truly is that easy, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Lex from PDQ.com.